Hello, hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Daphne. Hey, look, look at the camera. Look, this is Daphne. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to be joining us today. Thank you so much for coming back. If you watched my previous video, my very first, this is my second. So uh, let's keep the ball rolling. Super excited about all of this. So today uh, we are going to be talking about um, different places to source and my personal opinions on where the best places to source and get inventory comes from. So we'll start at my mm -hmm. least favorite or least popular and then we'll work our way up to my number one place to source and get inventory. Um, you may hear Daphne in the background. She's wanting T-R-E-A-T-S's. <laughs> um, she will get one afterwards because she's a good girl. <laughs> but let's dive in uh, and let's get started on great places to source. Number six is sourcing online and retail arbitrage. Hello, Daphne's decided to join us again. <laughs> so what I mean by that is going to um, places like TJ Maxx or stores, um, you know, that are brand name stores and buying your inventory directly from there. Um, it could also be sourcing online, um, hello, from a company's website, um, or even, you know, in certain cases, um, shopping for things from like on Poshmark um, and then flipping it to resell. The plus side to the, doing that, hello, oh, we want pets. Okay, <laughs> sorry guys. The plus side to doing that is especially if you're looking for a specific brand um, or looking for a specific item that you want to be able to flip, um, you can go and find that item directly. You don't have to try and hope that you come across it as you would if you were at a thrift store or something like that. The downside to that though that I find personally is that cost of goods tends to be much higher um, than if you were to find it uh, in a thrift store or at like a clearance sale or something like that. Um, I know a lot of people though love using that and do retail arbitrage all the time. So um, it definitely works for some people. For me personally, it's just not really conducive to my business model, but I'm not completely knocking it. I have done it in the past and I'll probably do it in the future, just not as often as some of these other ways. My number five place to find inventory is thrift stores. It's kind of your go-to place when you think of for reselling is you go to a Goodwill or a St. Vincent's or Salvation Army, um, you buy a bunch of inventory and then you flip it. Um, and it really is, I mean, it's the classic way to do it. Um, and I, I do use thrift stores quite often. Um, however, you know, especially recently, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> However, recently, um, prices have really started to go up and contrary to what certain people on the internet are saying, um, it is not resellers' faults. It is the greed of thrift stores because they're literally getting their inventory for either free because it's donated or pennies on the dollar because they're buying it for, you know, when companies are getting rid of their dead stock. So anyway, <laughs> um, I still do use inventory. Uh, thrift stores quite often, um, at least once a week, I'll go source there. Um, but just because of inflation and everything, you know, cost of goods, again, it all kind of boils down to that. Um, it makes it a little bit harder to flip and have a higher profit just because if I have to spend $10 on an item that will only flip for $25, $30, that's not as great as if I were able to get that item for two or $3, even a couple years ago and flip it for you know, $25, $30. So um, that's why that is at my number five spot. My number four place to get inventory is clearance sales at buy, sell, trade stores. What I mean by that is places like Plato's Closet, Clothes Mentor, Uptown Cheapskate, um, where you bring your gently used clothing and then they pay you on the spot for it. So it's sort of like a consignment shop, but you get paid upfront for your items. Um, a lot of those places will host clearance sales at the end of every season. Um, my previous video was all about 90% off clearance haul. I'll see if I can link it. Maybe like link it here if you want to go watch it. Um, 
I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I'm still trying to figure all that out. Um, if not, I will put it in the description. Um, but um, it's a great place to get inventory for very low pricing. Um, in my last video, the most expensive item that I paid for was $3 and that was for a North Face jacket. Um, the least expensive that I paid was 50 cents for an American Eagle t-shirt. So it can be a great way, especially if you're just starting out and you're wanting to increase your inventory um, or if you're really like low on cash, um, it's a great way to um, get a high volume of inventory for not a lot of money. Um, the downside is that those only happen a few times a year. So, you know, unless you're able to really stock up, um, you know, you might have to do some more sourcing in between those times. Um, I always follow all of my local BST, buy, sell, trade um, stores um, on Instagram and Facebook. That's typically where they announce those events. So it's a great way to keep in touch with uh, what's going on with all of those places. My number three favorite place to get inventory and source are buy nothing pages and free stuff pages on Facebook. Um, I'm part of a few of them. Um, and basically people can put stuff up that they're wanting to get rid of. And I'm able to grab stuff. I've gotten, excuse me, many, many items um, that way. Um, you know, people who have raided their closets and, you know, say, hey, does anyone want this before I take it to Goodwill? Um, oh, hello, <laughs> we want to shake. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, it's a great way to get free inventory. And a lot of times um, too, in order to kind of get them to choose me, <laughs> um, you know, I'll say, you know, I can pick up today and I'm more than happy to pass along anything that doesn't work. Um, so that way I can still help others out within that community um, who may, you know, be looking for some new clothes. I can potentially grab some new things um, for either myself or for, um, for my reselling, and then I can pass, pass it along. Sometimes, uh, the downside is sometimes people will put in their, um, you know, offerings or listings, you know, not for reselling. Personally, I always honor that. Um, I don't necessarily understand it because like if you took it to Goodwill, they would resell it, but that's another conversation to have. <laughs> um, but you know, sometimes people don't want you to resell it. Um, and personally, I will respect that, that it's still their item until I were to take it. Um, so just make sure you always read the descriptions if you do that, but it's a great way to get some new inventory um, and get some new items to sell. My number two favorite place to source and get inventory is from my friends and family. Um, I've let all of them know, at least all of my close friends and family, that I do reselling. I sell online. And quite a few of them now, instead of taking things to Goodwill, will call me up instead and say, hey, I've, you know, purged my closet. I got a bag of clothes. Do you want them before I take them to, you know, and donate them? Um, you know, and I'm happy to do that. I've kind of become their donation center. <laughs> so, you know, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, we need some attention. We need some attention. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, um, they will, you know, drop stuff off for the next time I hang out with them or, you know, see my mom for dinner or whatever. Um, you know, she'll have a bag of, of stuff for me. So that's a great way and it's free. Um, let people know what you do. That's a great way to get free stuff. And a lot of people would much rather support, you know, their friends and family than a corporation. So it's a great way, an easy way uh, to get stuff and anything that I personally can't use, um, hello, um, you know, or I wouldn't be able to sell either. I will donate it, um, to the local thrift store or I'll throw it up on, you know, one of the free stuff or buy nothing pages on Facebook. So someone else can, um, benefit from it instead. And my number one best place to get inventory is your own house. You have a ton of stuff. If you're anything like me, I am not a minimalist by any means. <laughs> so chances are you have a ton of stuff laying around your house that you don't want anymore. There's probably clothes in your closet or your partner's closets or your kids' closets that don't fit anymore. And let's be honest, they probably won't ever fit again. Use that, grab that and throw it up and see if you can make a profit from it because even if it only sells for a few dollars, it's going to be more than if you were to have taken it to Goodwill or St. Vincent's or 
Salvation Army. So especially for those who are just starting out, who don't have a lot of money up front, um, but really want to get into reselling, use your house as your first sourcing spot. So it's a great way to start up, um, especially if sales are slow, if you have a very large death pile of stuff <laughs> that is waiting to be photographed and listed, um, but you just really want to source again, take a look at your own house, see what you got there. So hopefully those are some great ideas for you guys. Um, let me know in the comments here and make sure please, I didn't say this at the beginning, I'll get better at this, <laughs> but make sure to please subscribe, like, comment, share, interact with this. Um, I would love to start building a community here. Um, but let me know in the comments, do you guys use these ways to get inventory? Um, what is your favorite way to source? Are you a huge like online sourcing retail arbitrage person? Um, and that's pretty much what you do. Or are you more of like a thrift store, thrift store gal? <laughs> let me know. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Say bye, Daphne. Say bye. Yeah, she is. She's just camera shy. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs>